Hello and welcome to High Fleet. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this episode, we are going to build a hopefully improved Skylark. So you can take a minute and look at these different stats. We're going to try to beat it and make it cheaper. So we have our Skylark 2 because I was testing it. Yeah, I don't want to change it. And it's ugly and it doesn't work very well. So we're going to give this another go. So to begin with, we're going to want it to look ideally pretty, at least semi-pretty. Um, but we also want to make sure that it has at least two uh, components or two, uh, excuse me, fuel cores to it. So. One of the things that we're going to do here is put on a high efficiency fixed propulsion system. And then on top of that, we are going to, again, for aesthetic purposes. I don't know if that looks as good as I want it to look. So you know what? We're going to do this. Nope, that looks weird. What about this one? Nope, we already need to use that one. Why can't I click this one? This is the one that I want. Hmm. That look better? I don't think that looks better. Well, I'll show you what I'm trying to do here. We want uh, high fuel efficiency engines to give us uh, some speed. And the speed we're trying to beat is about 600. Um, so that's what we're doing. So this is a disaster so far. Um, in my head, this was going to go a lot different, but you know what? That's part of the fun. You guys can experience the ride and hopefully enjoy it along the way. So we're going to go with this. We are going to put some uh, fuel efficient pieces here. We're going to put fixed propulsion systems here. And unfortunately... Well, hold on. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix this first. Can we fit two of them in here? I think we can. All right, there we go. 602. That's good. Okay. Generator's good. Up here, we are going to pick the MP404. Uh, it is a little better than the other one. The next piece we're going to put on here is the IRS-1 Mars. Ooh. So first off, we want... I think we actually need to put this up here and you'll see why um, because we the design is very specific we're going to want I think half a generator to go right there and then what we're going to do here is build a come on little bit of a raised dais. Oh man, you really have to be a full one up. Cause that looks weird as heck. And I don't I don't like it as much. I don't I don't I don't like that as much. Cause now we're gonna run into issues with this thing. So I guess the question is Is that, a, yeah, that's equivalent to a full one, which is super, super unfortunate. 
Hmm. I guess what we could do put that there. Oh, now we have power issue. Okay, so this is this is the rub. This one's gonna be hard to put on there. Um, putting an antenna is fine. That will. I don't know if we look at the stats. I don't think anything changes. Putting another antenna. Yeah, the only thing that changes is our mass, so we want to be efficient. I... I'm struggling with this one. So, I guess the true option here is just making this one a little taller. And we can make this one go right here. And we need half a generator. And boom, Bob's your uncle. So we are now um why can't I get rid of this thing? It's bugged out. Great. Well, we'll leave it. You don't need it. Leave me alone. Ah, I guess antennas are a little bugged. They don't let you delete it. So this is the improved Skylark. Our range isn't quite where I want it to be though. So if we Save this. Load this. You can see the range is longer. What are you? DS three o. Oh, you have four of these guys. Hmm. So. We are going to iterate on our design. And just make it easier. Fast, we're a little less. It is still a thousand cheaper. And okay. Um, so this is the new and improved Skylark. So we're gonna, we're gonna save this one. Um, remember these numbers, because those are the numbers that we're gonna, going to reference. And I, I'm going to just take a quick screenshot here. So then when I reference it, I know what I'm comparing to. So we're going to load the Skylark. OK. So let's take a look. We have better thrust to weight ratio at 7.3 for us compared to Skylark 6.5. Our speed is higher at 656 compared to the 589. So that means we'll maneuver on the map quicker. Our range is longer at 6. 6543. Um, so it's not that much longer. Our consumption is 122 tons per thousand compared to 135 here because we're just more efficient and we don't have stuff. So technically, the Skylark does have a little more um, fuel, right? Because we only have these two, but because of our engines and weight, we're more efficient. So let's jump down here to look at the detection, because that's it's basically a tanker detection unit, right? 
There are no weapons on it. So IR sign is the same at 274. Uh, our chance though is 66. Um, on top of that, our RD sign is 426. So it's a little shorter, but our chance is 20 per 20 versus zero. Our Ellent is 1500, which is the same. And I, our, I and our IRST is 225 compared to the 216. And our price is 80 or 8,090 compared to 9,135. Now we cannot land our Skylark, but we have no need to land the Skylark. It's not a combat vessel. So there you have it, the Skylark 2. Um, I'll come back to here, you can check it out. And this baby uh, is faster, better in every sense. The RD sign's a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, that is the Skylark 2. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to create a more efficient ship to show that if you build it fit for purpose, you can make it, make it better. Now, I'm sure someone's going to comment on the design. So I'm going to, I'm going to change the design. So people don't comment on the shape now that I'm looking at it. And we're just going to try to do it again in a slightly different fashion. So we're going to, we're going to just, we're just going to build vertically. There we go. We'll build, we'll build vertically. So, we'll see if this can be more, more efficient. We need power supplied to both. Nothing's interrupting it. Now we need, um, Put this on here. Down here we have whoop, we have some of these bad boys. We need more power. Oh, because this thing blocks the power. Shoot, now we make it not as pretty. Um, that's okay though. guys are the issue. Great. 820. It's actually a little more efficient to what we had before. 275, chance 66. But our, our oh, you know what? We are forgetting our trusty antenna. Now we can't get this to 20% even. Um, our RD sign is a lot higher, but our chance is 0%. So, interesting. Interesting. I have to figure out how this one works. I don't understand how this one works. So if you do, please comment. But um, that's this here. We're gonna we're gonna load our other one because I think this one's a little bit better. Um, our RD sign at least has a chance, 66. Um, so this is gonna be the one that I'm I'm sticking to. A little more expensive. I like how it looks a little better. I know people might comment on the design. That's okay if you do. The other thing we could do is increase our range if we wanted to. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. I'm actively trying to grow my channel, so please consider subscribing. And please comment on your best Skylark-type design. Shadow Coast out.